Welcome back to Capino Games and it's time for a legend siege battle against this legend guild BRK Gangsta. Yes, they are definitely a legend guild full of all of these LND and D5 defenses. Now our goal here is to hit the highest health towers. Okay, looking at the plus threes. Wow, look at that defense from Yanja. You have here a Kumun Orion Ziratu and a Jean Theomars Taranis. Wow, very interesting. Um, for this first round against this Ziratu, we're gonna bring in our Halfas to tank him, Emilia to provide infinite immunity for our Bulwarks, Forbidden Galder, and Heals. And then we're gonna go and try to kill that Orion first. Okay. And then for the second round, I'm thinking that Taranis is gonna have two lives. And then that John's gonna be provoking with that kind of provocation. All the while, Theo Mars is going to do Elemental King damage to anyone in your team. So what I'm thinking here is of course you'll need to bring immunity again so that you won't be able to be provoked by that John. Um, but at the same time, we will need enough damage to kill this Tyrannis. So I'm thinking, if we're not grabbing an immunity, let's play the resistance lead of John, our own John. And then, yeah, this can work, but then, yeah, that Tyrannis is going to be a uh, very dangerous monster to play against. So, let me think here. Here's our Jean. Okay. So, for the second round, this is what we're gonna do. Here's Nigong. Not the best Nigong, but we have high resistance on him. And then, Theomars and Jean. Okay. You wanted to test out our Nigong, and so here he is. And we're gonna kill this Theomars first. And then, let's just play it by ear. Okay, let's go. Okay, now here goes this Orion. Now definitely, we have to kill this Orion first. Why? Because when he does his harmless prank he's gonna be stripping, he's gonna be doing heal blocks and he's gonna be breaking defenses and if that defense shifts to one of our water monsters that defense break is gonna attract the attacks from this Ziratu and we don't want that happening so let's continue to work yep on this Orion and just let our half us tank this OP Ziratu with that Guardian skin from RTA. So beautiful. Alright, with Orion gone, our tanking plan will work. Because, yep, Ziratu is gonna keep attacking onto our half us who's just gonna end up sucking the life out of them <laughs> with endless attachment. Yep, but of course this plan, if you don't build your alpha, alphas, <laughs> your halfas with 100% resistance, that Kumun can easily heal block him, and if he's heal blocked, this plan ain't gonna work, you see, because, you know, this, look at that, such an OP Ziratu, um, now we're gonna kill this Kumun, in case we are unable to resist that heal block and at the same time because Ziratu is able to you know, uh, what do you call this keep attacking onto our Halfas that also allows our Halfas 
passive to actually work. You see that endless attachment? Yep. So pretty much AGG. And we just have to manage this um our Emilia with the what do you call this? Um the, the purifying wave. So just in case this common is able to heal block our half us. Okay, one more. Okay, we're gonna pop this common. And then with this self buffing dark chimera, we're able to gain more knowledge. And onwards to the next round. GG. Okay, here goes our play. Um, so here's Digong. Our LND NB5, our very first one. Um, we're gonna work on this Theo Mars because he is the squishiest of these three monsters over here. Wow, I mean, dude, with the lead from John, I should have 100% resistance. But look at him. <laughs> yep, let's cleanse our. Okay, stunned again. Okay, let's continue to work on this Theo Mars because. That the thing with Taran is, is he's not like any, what do you call it, like an Eladriel with a full heal and a full revive. However, he does have two lives with his passive and at the same time he has soul protection. While we also have heavenly protection. Um, yeah, I wanted to sleep Theomars, obviously. Um, can we provoke them please? Okay, invincibility, of course, <laughs> of course you get violet proc when you don't need it, right? Come to us. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put heavenly protection. Oh yeah, that's one more thing, another good thing with like, if you put a, an Eladriel on this defense is that he has a strip, so easily Eladriel would have been able to strip like something, uh oh. Yeah, like that guy. Uh, yeah, if it, this was an Eladriel. That Eladriel would have easily stripped. Okay. Now I'm thinking... Should we put invisibility on our Theomars? Well, technically... Um, we don't need to because he has that um, buff on him. Okay, sleep. Okay, nice additional turn. Now, with these two guys provoked, yep, Theo Mars. Let's go work on this. Now we put invincibility. Because now that Theo is gonna attack onto our Theo Mars because he's the lowest health. And we can put soul protection again on all our monsters just to be safe. Okay. Now, let's go kill this John. Mm, nice violent proc. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's fine. Stun? No stun. Okay, we're getting the violent procs. Um, yeah, okay. So, definitely, this is a good offense. In terms of defense, um, Nikong. Yeah, if I was to choose, like, Eladriel versus Nikong, I would still definitely choose Eladriel, to be honest. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, Nikong, sure, I mean, especially with the buff on Eladriel, you know, um, he's able to revive all his teammates with lesser health, though. Um, but Nikong has heals but not a full heal and can also revive his teammates so good thing this plan actually worked yep soul protection and then let's just kill this Taranis so that he stops from whatever like he keeps reviving this John and then John's gonna keep provoking oh okay finally finally resisted okay mountains power and then Theo, ooh, ooh, <laughs> okay, he pretty much revived this whole team already. Uh, <laughs> um, 
Okay, can we sleep Theo? Yeah, let's kill Theo again. And then let's go try and provoke. Now, can we stun? No stuns. Okay. Let's kill this Tyrannus. Hmm. Okay. Yes. Shakes off. Shakes off the invisibility with an additional turn. Happens most of the time. If not all the time. Okay. Onwards to the next tower. Now let's go look for the highest health plus 2 or plus 3. Yeah, let's go for this highest health plus 2 tower. I'm thinking... Let's go attack this guy. Mesa Yonza with this Jean, Wunsa, and Skogul. Now I'm thinking we can try and outspeed this Wunsa, but then he has a very high base speed of 118. So it's going to be very dangerous to try to bring him against Frigate. And since this, these guys are like OP and they're legend killed, we cannot underestimate the builds of these monsters. Hmm. Yeah. High base speed from Wunsa. And definitely risky for us to bring in this Frigate. And even if, say, our frigate survives, or our frigate gets the turn, there is still a possibility that Jean survives, and then that Atlas Stone is going to wreck our teammates or our team. So I'm thinking if we put in Galleon there, we can outspeed that Wunsa. But still not enough damage. Okay, um, let's do this. For the team below, I'm just going to bring in our Molong, Ikaris, and Harmonia. And we're going to pop that Tyrannus first. And then for this team above, let's bring in our Garo. Together with, I'm thinking either Juno or maybe like a Rakuni. And someone who can... Provide us with heals. Now, we can bring in Kumun here. Because definitely the main damage is going to come from this Kogul. But Wunsa isn't going to do much damage. So we can bring in our Kumun, Rakuni, and Garo. So that Rakuni is going to cleanse whatever Jean provokes. Or whatever defense break or stun this Wunsa is going to put onto our team. But at the same time, that Kumun Atlas Stone isn't going to do enough damage. Or is only going to hit the monster once. So technically, Kumun without a violent proc cannot kill Garo, right? Yeah. We can bring in Perna, but then if this wound stuns, and then that Atlas Stone falls, it's going to be dangerous. So let's bring in Rakuni. Man. <laughs> NB4 monsters against these OP LND NB5s. Let's go try it out and see how we do. Let's do it. Okay, wound is going to go. Oh no, he doesn't. Okay, let's stun him. Let's continue to work on this Wunsa. And let John do her thing. Yeah, because Wunsa is gonna provide that, what, steal, stealing of all beneficial effects on his enemies. And at the same time, increases the attack bar of, of his allies. So, we don't want him stealing any beneficial effects, especially the shields of our Komun. Um, okay, there goes Atlas Stone. Yep, you'll see, notice the shield of our Kumon. Right. Um, yeah, Jean's not gonna do enough damage to break that shield. You see? And 
yeah, our Raccoon is able to cleanse whatever provoked. Of course, he's gonna put invincibility because the HP is low than lower than 50%. Yeah, and that's fine. See. Uh, wow, stuns. Yeah, that's why we wa we went ahead because this wound sir, is obviously a despair wound sir. but I'm sure a fast despair wound sir. Um, it's a good thing. Okay, there goes John. Yep, keep stunning. So definitely a despair guy or a despair built wound sir. Ooh, <laughs> Rahuni VIP. Or oh, sorry, MVP. <laughs> okay, uh, three versus one. If this Kogul throws this Atlas Stone, and we're gonna keep attacking onto him, he can throw the Atlas Stone again, right? And with the Violent Proc, he can still wreck this offense that we brought along. But I'm not. I don't think he can kill our Garo. Ooh. Yep, especially with that shield of Kumun. Okay. Woo. Okay, here goes. Now the challenge here is we don't have a revive. And looking at the attack bars, Icaris is gonna go after my Molong. Okay, so we stun. Um, let's put... We have to pop this Taranis. Um, can we sleep? No sleep. Okay, now here goes Unwanted Harmony. Oh no. Oh, and violence. Oh man. And that's fine because we bought in our Harmonia. Who can just return the Unwanted Harmony? And we'll continue to work on this Harmonia. Yeah, because we can kill. He already used his soul protection on himself. Let's go kill this Harmonia so that he doesn't have heals. But then, okay, oh, that was close. Yeah, that was like that put our uh, what do you call this? Our Molong in danger because ooh, this Tyrannus can hit really hard. Okay, let's just play around with the attack bars of this Brogul. <laughs> yeah, they like calling him Brogul. Uh, he's Trasar, the Dark Skogul. <laughs> you know, the Dark Giant Warrior. Okay, now Molong is gone. Uh, dark Recovery, kill Trasar. Uh, will he die with that continuous damage? Can't risk it. Oh, it's a good thing he brought back his Trasar and not that Harmonia. Because if he did, he would be in trouble. Um, let's heal up. Okay, there goes Atlas Stone. Um, let's just continue to decrease attack bars of this Trasar while we're waiting for the cooldowns to go off on our um, Ikares skill number 3. Um, yep. Let's heal up because that Atlas Stone is going to fall. And if I did my math right, Dark Recovery should be up. So let's Unwanted Harmony this Tyrannis. And then let's... How about AoE Dark Twister and kill this Trasar? Okay, can we sleep? Okay, brings back Trasar to life. And we can Dark Recovery this Tyrannis that's gonna pop his passive, the Patience of Peace passive. And now we can just continue to work on this Tyrannis. Nice sleep. Okay, Dark Recovery again. Ooh, nice. Ooh. And just decrease attack bars and decrease attack bars on this Trasar before he gets to throw another Atlas Stone. That Decrease stack bar. <laughs> nice violent. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. Okay, no more Atlas Stone for ya. Oh, nice. Ooh. Chill, bro. 
Okay, duck recovery. Oh, uh, hey. Woo. <laughs> that was a close play. Uh, onwards to the next tower. Let's see. Plus one towers. Um, we see here, I believe Cloud has the highest health. Ooh, but it's another Zeratu. Okay, for the team above, we're just gonna outspeed that Lauren with our Tiana. Because at the end of the day, Laurens are built with, you know, a little bit of HP and speed. Well, my Tiana is just built on speed because that's all she... Because that's all she wrote. I mean, you only need speed on your Tiana. Anyway. Um, yeah, hopefully we get the first turn from that Lauren though. You know, never underestimate G3 Lorenz, bro. Okay, now for the second team. We can easily do that half us again, but we're not gonna do it, right? Because the purpose of our video is not to repeat any monster team combinations. Um, yeah, we need someone to thank this Zeratu, though. Or, yeah, if we do this... Zerato is going to attack on Tornigong, but then this Orion is going to do harmless prank and that is very dangerous because that's just going to provide like a defense break and this whole plan is going to go haywire. Um, let's see. We can try to outspeed them with our Garo again, but the question is, you know, even if we are able to kill this Zeratu, and what if this Draco doesn't give us the attack power buff that we need and only attack bars immunity and say like a defense buff? It's gonna go, you know, haywire. And besides, you know, my Draco is not the fastest one that we've built. Uh, let me see. Yeah, we can go for Daphne, and then Daphne can kill Zeratu. Snipe him, but then we're gonna have a hard time killing this Kumun. So I'm thinking we have to outspeed this Orion. So let's bring in a speed lead in the form of shields. Right? Someone to tank Kumun. And then, yeah, let's kill that Orion. So we need a speed lead. Let's bring in Kumun and then Wusa. Yeah, Wusa can definitely outspeed that Orion. Um, but then we'll need a speed lead in the form of like sustain through Kumun. And then someone who can easily kill this Orion and provide us heals. What better monster to bring but Fang Yen? Okay, so Feng Yen's gonna tank Kumun, and then let's just let Zeratu hit anyone he wants, but we'll need elemental advantage to kill this Orion. Let's go! Okay, Ooh. okay, Ooh. faster, look at the attack bars, we're gonna need defense breaks from time to loot. Oh, a resistant Ciara. Can we kill? Uh oh. Oh no, additional procs. Okay, that's fine. We survived it. Oh man, more additional. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh man. <laughs> Ooh. Yep, that's the thing. If you're attempting to like uh, do a cleave. <laughs> a few violent procs and it's a GG. Wow. Okay, anyway. <laughs> I'm still in shock. Um, okay, no harmless prank, but it doesn't matter. Okay, looking at that. Let's go kill. Can we kill? No kill. No defense break. Okay, good, good. That's fine. So now Zerato is just going to go wild. Zerato is going to probably try to hit someone with the lowest health HP. 
so I don't know honestly he should attack why did is that a revenge kumon or something yeah at this point I don't know how the computer is computing what Gerato is gonna attack but he's just hitting randomly um he should attack the lowest health monster um based on my builds it should be Fongyan because Fongyan is more defense. But then he's attacking on Tobusa. See? I don't know. Um, anyway. Yeah, it's a good thing that Zirato's not able to do much damage, especially with the help of the shields from Komun. I mean, my Komun. He's not really able to do much damage. See, now hits on Tokumun. Yeah, he wasn't even able to break the shields of my Komun, so that's very good. Yes, see? Very good. Yeah, but I think that was like aided with the shields of... Whoa! It's a Vampire Revenge Jiratu. Such a beautiful monster. Alright. Man. That <laughs> Perna. Turn the tables. Okay. Well, we've won this guild war against this legend guild, the arcade gangster. And let's go check out their OP defenses and how it's doing. Yep, look at all those LNDs. So, if you have any of these LND monsters, Wow, Leonidas with that Odin and a Fran Theoperna. Nice. Oh, look at this guy. Big bro touch with such an OP defense. I salute you. <laughs> so many LND. You're one of my idols. <laughs> Senpai. Okay, of course, Sir Ayor too. Man. <laughs> So many beautiful LNDs. It's like, yep, I don't know. You're probably shareholders in Come to Us <laughs> or something. Or you're like, yep, yeah, that's, that was a Wusa. Oh no, that was a Chiwu, sorry. A Chiwu and a Wusa. Oh, and a shout out to the Schizophrenic Gamer. Yep, thank you for sharing our video links yeah we are a big fan too we watch your videos and yeah thank you for sharing the link we appreciate it now let's go through a little bit more of this these defenses from King Cobra and hopefully you know we can learn as well from this legend guild DRK gangster definitely a lot of OP monsters um, now if you're gonna build these defenses just make sure of course you max out your runes and you plan out their turn order very well like if you're gonna bring in a stripper make sure a stripper gets the first turn you know like for this guy make sure that Juno takes the first turn or Gianna takes the first turn so that you can do your combo or you can pull your combo off or for example, for that defense, make sure your Harmonia takes the next turn after the Molong so that she can instantly heal. Now, what's good with the defense setup of Come To Us now is that you can test your own defense. And that's a very good thing to do. A very good um, patch that Come To Us did. Yeah, the latest patch, not so different, but then Emma. I'm an R5 guy and I like the fact that you can just press and start off the battle. Okay, well, um, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to leave a like and a comment because we want to hear from you. And to subscribe if you haven't subscribed to our channel for more content. Thank you for watching and may the prox be with you. See you on the next one. <laughs> what if you like that? I mean, 
the prox be with you or the force be with you. I don't know. We can talk about it. <laughs> Let me know. But wait, there's more. <laughs> yeah. Uh, before you go, I want to show you some of these OP Guardian 3 RTA fights with more of these LND monsters. Yeah, hopefully, you know, we get to learn, we get to learn a thing or two on how to like counter and how they are countering all these ragdolls and these Yon Hongs and even Leona. So enjoy and salute!